I'm here today because I'm excited to celebrate Data Planet joining the SAGE family. Uh, one of the things that all of you librarians should know is that you are, at least indirectly, the reason for all of this, uh, as we have been out talking to you over the years about data, the one resource that you told us over and over again was invaluable to you was Data Planet. And so we took your feedback very seriously. We looked at it very closely. And uh, six months ago, we started to talk to Rich Landry. Um, you should know that this is not something that Sage does every day, uh, bringing a new company into our family. We do it very carefully, and it's very important that that, 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 that company meet uh, certain criteria. And there are three things that really stand out about data planning. First, their mission, very closely aligned with Sage. Sage is all about supporting uh, education and scholarship in the social sciences, and in particular, the quantitative social sciences. Data Planet and Rich Landry are passionate about data and about data literacy. Second thing is alignment. Uh, what Data Planet brings to our family of library resources is, is really good alignment. It's aligned with our research methods strength and Sage research methods, with our business and management strength and Sage business and management and uh, with uh, uh, our, our researcher and a whole host of products that, are really, uh, that really uh, need data to really be powerful, and Data Planet brings that. And then finally, there's a cultural fit. Rich, as all of you who know him, and as we've heard from you over and over again, is just a great guy. He's passionate about his product, he's passionate about data, and that is what we are at Sage. We're passionate about what we do. So what I want to do is propose a toast right now to a great guy, my friend, Rich Landry, and his great team, including Jill Blamers, who's here with us today. Welcome to the Sage family. We're excited, we're fat, we're happy, we're proud to have you part of our family. Cheers. With that, I'd like to let Rich have his sip of champagne, and then see if we'd like to have a few words. Well, the good news is you get two toasts today. <laughs> Um, you know, I've been coming to ALA for 10, 12 years, and I had this routine that was always the same. I would get here early on Friday, um, and I would unpack our booth. I'd set it up. And I'd set up the kiosk and I'd, the monitors, and I'd do the whole thing. And so when everyone got there, you know, we were all set. And so uh, last week at dinner, my wife asked, uh, I think half kidding, right? Are you setting up the booth? And I thought, uh, I probably could. I got booths <laughs> But uh, what the conversation kind of brought into focus for me is, you know, we've always asked the question, you know, what can we do with Data Planet, you know, when we have more resources, when we have, um, you know, the, the credibility and the gravitas that a company like Sage brings to the table. And so, you know, we're just really excited about, you know, even early on, you know, what we're seeing as far as how much more data we can add and the quality of data. So, you know, that's what I look for in our partnership with Sage, and uh, so far it's just been fantastic. Uh, secondly, you know, when you run a small software company, there are a lot of things that, that uh, are not software or, or technology related that kind of get thrown over the fence uh, unceremoniously, and the person who has always been on the other side of that fence to gracefully catch them and put them properly where they belong is my wife Tanya. <laughs> and so I just want to take a moment to thank you because without you, um, we would not be able to do this work that we find so gratifying and affirming. So I wanted to make a toast to you. Cheers.